Okay, so Diego is just sleeping over there. Some Indian miners, that's what we call those birds over there. And then the little birds as well. They are eating seeds from the chicken gizzards that the tigers didn't eat. And then we're still busy with the ceiling over here. And computer cat caught this little lizard. And I chased after her. She put him down. And then, well, I picked him up. So now I have to go find him a new spot to put him down. But yeah, tiger's just sleeping through it all. Can you believe it? Okay, Zach just wants to see what the little lizard is going to do. Okay, and he's gone. So he probably just climbed down right here. Yeah. On top of this, well, area right here, it's nice and warm for them to bake in the sun. But they open for any cat to just come around and catch them. But if they just go a little bit down, there's no way a cat can hold on to the wall on the outside. So, yeah, that I guess is the best place for a lizard over here. Yeah. Lizards, better watch out. There's a lot of cats around here. And tigers. Well, it seems like that hardy dog is walking with a limp. Yeah, I guess he might have got something wrong with his foot or his leg. But in any case, nothing wrong with his mouth. <laughs> Eating like you won't believe. Okay, so when you're busy with a job like this, then you start thinking, where should I put a light switch? Where should I put lights? And then you're thinking, okay, if it's pitch dark and the lights goes on, everyone is going to be able to see up here. But you're going to be able to see nothing out. So that's a problem. I don't think I should have lights up here. Although you need to know where you're walking. I mean, if you're coming upstairs, it can be quite a problem. So I'm just considering now it becomes... A question of two-way switching. That is, if you're coming up the stairs, you must be able to switch the light on. But you want to be able to switch the light off once you're upstairs. So, I am just thinking about this. Should I just put in the necessary pre preparations if I need that at some point? Because I'm not going to open up the ceiling again just to put in some wiring. So, yeah, I think I will have to do that. Let me get to it. I'll just quickly go and buy a few small things that will be necessary. It's a small cost, but it's a huge mission to get it in once it's too late. <laughs> yeah. In the meantime, Diego has moved his position. He is sleeping in that direction now. Well, at least he's doing something. Okay, so Enzo is just like taking a break right there. Just look at him. Now, Enzo knows exactly what he's doing right now. He's seeing my friend, Giannis. Here is Giannis. Now, Enzo once bit his finger, well, just about off. And uh, while his whole nail was gone, Giannis, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> On another occasion, Enzo, Enzo once grabbed Giannis and dragged him in here against that wall over there, right there into the plants and stuff. And uh, yeah, that also happened. I'm going to have to make a special vlog about Giannis and Enzo <laughs> uh, to explain that to people. Oh, and by the way, Giannis was one shot in the heart. And he went to work the next day. And I am not over-exaggerating that. I'm going to show you guys. You were shot right there. And the bullet came out. Oh, there. You were shot there. And the bullet came out right here. Ricochet. <laughs> yeah, so... 
he's I think he's tougher than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bulletproof, but apparently my rep cage is. <laughs> right, let's get going. Time to feed the boys. And we're not feeding them yarnes today. <laughs> okay, another day gone. Oh. And time to feed the boys. Enzo is ready. Here it comes, Enzo. Beautiful catch. He oh. got it. Diego. Here it comes, Diego. Yeah, well, Diego also caught it, but a little different. But in any case, time to feed all the cats. Here they are. They're waiting for their food. They just keep on coming through. And let's just start giving them the first one. <laughs> Cutest cat in the world is first. Enzo is just quickly going to finish that one up. Here's the next one, Enzo. Diego is eating much closer to Enzo these days. It's not a problem anymore. And yeah, they're only going to get three each. Yeah, finally, the diet is working it's being implemented but it it's not that easy communication is a very difficult thing because if you've got people that help you to do something and they don't know exactly how many of these the tigers are going to eat and they take out five for each tiger then well we're not going to throw that extra two away there's no way you do that but then they have to eat it so we just postpone the diet for the next day but at least now we are starting to get it right <laughs> yeah three for Diego and three for Enzo Let me just give him his watch out Enzo I'm gonna hit you right on the head yeah and that's it the rest is for the cats and I've only got two small ones left for the cats here so perfect amount has been taken out for the day <laughs> but tonight whatever is left the tigers will also get but there's not much meat left on it then so it's not that bad they still have to dispose of it because they also doing us a favor while they are eating so yeah it's a, it's difficult to calculate everything perfectly but you can do it it's not really that difficult it's just a little unusual to make these kinds of calculations like how much does a tiger eat <laughs> well guys that's it diego is enjoying his food and enzo as well and I think if they're a little hungrier, they enjoy their food a little more. Not that they are actually hungry, but in any case. Cats still standing around, but they are eating. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And like always, have a good day. Enzo! Well, I am a sucker for things that is beautiful. And just look at this. Yeah. This is absolutely <laughs> great. I just showed the lady uh, the picture where I have one of these day beds with Enzo sleeping on it. Okay. And uh, I'm just checking everything out here. <laughs> and it is absolutely beautiful. Just look at this. If you want to decorate your house, you have to know that 
well, the footage is going to be safe. Just look at this. I mean, with the cats on this, I don't think it's going to work. But maybe if it's cloth like this, it could be just perfect. But yeah, absolutely beautiful stuff that they've got here. Just had a nice cup of coffee over here and yeah, that shop has got the most beautiful furniture I've seen in a long, long time. Let me get back home and start doing stuff. Okay, so slowly but surely the ceiling is coming together. Every day we're able to put in a few panels. Oh, I must just look where I'm going. But in any case, it looks great. Sun is setting over there. We've still got quite a far way to go, but we'll get it done. It's just going to take a little longer. But yeah, tigers are ready for me to go and feed them. So they are just, well, making me realize that they are hungry. But I'm not going to forget, Diego is still on a diet. Enzo is already looking great, but I think three chickens each for today. That will be just perfect. So they know that they are going to be eating within the next five minutes. But for us here, getting this job done, it's coming along just great. It's almost like a mirror. So you can actually well, comb your hair in it <laughs> and it looks great. The place is a mess, tools everywhere and I'll clean that up when we're done. It's going quicker than I thought. I think it's going to be done within the next week and then yeah, I'll just install lights and be done with it. Right, let me go get the tiger's food they are going to be eating in, well, I said five minutes before, probably four minutes now. Okay, they are right here, ready to eat. Let's get this done. Enzo, oh, what are you bleeding in your face again? Must have been Diego that got him there. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Let's just eat. Enzo! No, he's not ready yet. Come on, Enzo. Diego. Okay, here's the first one for Diego. Oh, Diego, you just had to open up your mouth. That's it. Enzo. Same thing, Enzo. Ah. <laughs> Almost. Well, I don't know how am I going to be able to teach Diego to just open up his mouth at least. It's the easiest thing to do. But it's okay. He doesn't need to be able to catch. Just eat the cats as well. There you go. Yeah, I still think that the tigers enjoy the chickens the most. It's definitely what they would want. And when they don't get it, and I give it to them again, they do enjoy it even more. So, I think this is going to be mostly what they will be eating throughout their life. It's a little spider right there. Yeah. Now we're moving back into the climate where spiders are quite a problem. I've already seen a few people posting on social pages where they were bitten by something and they don't know what it was. And yeah, chances that it's going to be a spider is almost 100%, especially this time of the year. And believe me, they bite you 
when you're asleep and it takes 10 days then it hurts like you won't believe so if you find any bites first check if it's a spider bite well guys that's it tigers are going to be eating dogs are going to get fed on the other side now and the cats are also enjoying their food right here so the tigers are eating and the doves are right here they're coming to check up on the tigers and drink a little water from where Diego just got out of the pool and they trust these tigers quite a lot just look at this Diego aren't you scared those doves are gonna eat your chicken yeah he is now he's rather going back and there he has already taken out one of the chicken gizzards two of them there it is he eats around them they don't like them at all the doves right there is hanging out here with the tigers Enzo also busy eating taking his time there's no rush Well guys, that's it. Diego is rather going to finish that chicken. He's just worried that the dove might just carry it away. But he's just playing safe. You never know when there's a dove around what they might be capable of. I mean, these are only tigers. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And like always, have a good day.